Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I want to talk to you about tapping a drilled hole in steel. All right folks, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what we need to drill a hole for this bolt. This is a one half by 13 bolt, which means half inch diameter, 13 threads per inch, so it's a one half 13 bolt. I have to drill this a certain size so that I can make threads on the inside of the hole. I can't just drill it out a half inch. There's a chart that you need to look at. It'll show your tap size, which this is a tap. It will cut threads on the inside of a hole. You have to have the right tap size and then the right drill size. So I have this chart here that tells me what my tap size is and my drill size. So if I'm looking for half by 13, I'm gonna come down here to one half by 13, look over and it says I could drill it out at 29.64. So I'm gonna go and get that bit to drill the hole in my steel. So here we have the correct drill bit for this size hole. We're going to drill a hole through this steel and then we'll be able to tap that hole for threads. Okay folks, so I have my tap. I have my T-handle, my wrench basically. I'm going to slide my tap in, tighten it up. Now I'm ready to tap this hole. Now I put a little bit of oil on the hole and a little bit of oil on my tap. There's some uh, oil that you can get that's specifically for tapping holes. This is not a specific oil on here. It's just a regular uh, a motor oil. It works pretty good. What you really need to make sure you do is that you have your hole or your tap rather lined up and straight down. You don't want it at an angle to where you're going to cut threads that are at an angle. So you're going to apply pressure down and turn it. And once you get started and you start cutting threads, I usually like to do a turn and then back it off and that breaks those chips up. And then do another half turn, it'll get really tight and then go back and break those chips out. Maybe make a half or a quarter turn, go back, break those chips. And you can feel when it gets tight. If you push through that, that's when you break taps. So just turn it back. If you need to go back quite a bit and then start again. Turn it back. Now this is for a through hole, which means I'm drilling and tapping all the way through. So it's gonna be different if you have a hole that's not all the way through something. But you can see now I'm all the way through. And it's turning really easy, I can turn it back. And I have cut threads in this hole. So we'll go ahead and see if it works for our bolt, if we cut it right, and if we can thread a bolt in. 
Looks like it's working just fine. Okay, folks, so now you know how to drill the correct size of hole and how to cut threads in that hole, how to tap that hole. So now you can take any piece of steel and be able to thread bolts into it. So thanks for watching. If you find the information helpful, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you don't, well, thumbs down. Thanks again for watching. Remember folks, work hard, because hard work in and of itself is its own reward. Have a great day.